Are you being lazy or do you actually need rest? Let's get this working. Let's get this bread. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to another vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog. If you are new around here, let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Tay. I am a first year medical student at UCLA, documenting this. Why is my hair so wet? And why am I being so extra so early in the morning? I am documenting this journey to the MD. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop and join our family. We post a new vlog, a new med related video every Saturday. So come join the fam. It is officially the new year. New year, better me baby. It is a new block. Our block three, gastrointestinal. What is it? What is it? It's officially the second week of block three. Block three, we're learning about the gastrointestinal system, the reproductive system and the endocrine system. So we're on gastrointestinal track still now. And I believe that's what we'll be spending our first three weeks on. So if you're returning, you already know what time it is. It is about 8 a.m on a Monday, so it is PBL time. For those of you who do not know, PBL stands for problem-based learning where we have a patient case and we go through it in small groups, try to figure out what's going on through what is called a differential diagnosis. I'm jumping in here real quick to let y'all know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I am so excited to be working with them again. This is a long-term partnership because Skillshare is the bomb. So quick spiel for those of you who do not know, Skillshare is this online learning platform that has thousands of classes that you can take on anything. You can literally learn anything that you're passionate about, anything that excites you. It's a space for creatives and for people to get inspired and learn new things. So I have been using Skillshare for the past few months. I love it. I have learned so many great things and my current class that I'm taking, I'm still finishing up my productivity masterclass, which is teaching me how to organize my life. And let me tell you the difference I've seen in my life already. Let's just say I'm on it, okay? And you will see throughout this week, I'm on it. So Skillshare was so kind to give us a special link if you would like to try it out. I highly recommend. I will put the link down in the description. The first 1,000 people to click this link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Y'all do not sleep on Skillshare, okay? And then if you would like to continue after that, it's less than $10 a month and you get access to everything. So I highly recommend it. Please let me know if you have any questions about Skillshare. But without further ado, let's get on to the video. But I think the coolest part about PBL this block is that there are alternate endings. Um, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. So I'm gonna go sit down and make my tea, do this PBL for two hours, and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, bye! just ended it is now 10 a.m. on the dot from 10 to 12 now we have two lectures each one hour I am actually gonna watch some of last week's lectures though cuz your girls already behind it's fine we don't have too much PBL this block we only have like three sessions as opposed to it being every week like it's been in the past so not mad at it because those 8 a.m. call times it's rough. So today our case was called, I don't feel so good. So it turns out our patient had an ulcer in her duodenum, um, which is the first part of her small intestine. And now we need to figure out how to treat it and what to do. The cool thing about PBL this block is that now they are introducing alternate endings. So they told us this last week. And basically what that means is our decisions about care and what tests to get and what diagnosis we make will impact whether the patient lives or dies in the end. Like, are we ready for that? I guess they were like, you need to start taking some responsibility for your clinical decisions. And I was like, I mean, you right, you right. So that's gonna be interesting, this block. Yeah, so my learning issue, which is where we look up something from the case to present it to our group on Friday. 
Mine is the different etiologies for upper GI bleeding versus lower GI bleeding because they're different and then how you can distinguish between the two in order to figure out what tests you need to run in order to figure out the source of the bleed. So that is my learning issue and this block, the learning issues just need to be bullet points. We ain't gotta make no slides. So I think I might actually knock that out right now while the case is still fresh in my mind. I think that's a good idea. Should I do PBL? Should I just knock it out? Normally I wait till Wednesday, it's due on Thursday. Maybe I'll just knock it out. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. See you soon, bye. So PBL is done. I finished my learning issue. This is kind of unheard of. Um, like I said earlier, I normally do my learning issue on Wednesday night, but I figured why not knock it out? So <sighs> we did it. I will show you the screen. Our learning issue is just a write-up on a question. So my question was, what are the etiologies for upper and lower GI bleeds and how do you decide on the diagnostic intervention? for whatever it is. So that's what I did my little write up on. Here she is. It's beautiful. Clinical presentations of an upper GI bleed versus a lower GI bleed. Our patient has an upper GI bleed. So that's the most relevant for this case, but. All right, so I am done with PBL for the week until Friday when I have to meet with my group again and present my learning issue, but like to have this out of the way is so nice. So it is almost 3 p.m. now. Um, I have a live workout class at 4 p.m. I am a personal trainer online, so I need to do that at four. I'm excited to get up and get moving though because sitting for a long time just gets old. I'm probably going to prep for that now, make myself a smoothie, and then do that workout, and then we'll have a full evening of studying and watching lectures, so. So let's make a smoothie, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, y'all, so I sat, finished up my smoothie, and now it is about time for my live workout class. And we are about to knock out a killer leg day. And I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited to get up and get moving, get my blood pumping and feel good. So I'm gonna do this for the next hour and a half-ish, and then we'll be right back to studying. So let's knock it out. So I need to log on to Zoom to open up the class, and I'll see y'all when I'm done and sweaty and not looking, I mean, I don't look cute right now, but. <coughs> Coronavirus! Oh my gosh. I was saying I don't look cute right now, but working out isn't always cute. And that's just how it is. So let's get to sweat and I'll see y'all later. All right, y'all. So it's about 5.45. I just finished the live workout class. It was so good. It was so much fun. I'm feeling real good. Like I got a good workout in. So now it's time to eat because I'm hungry. If you know, you know. Let me tell you though, I have been searching for this for so long. Everyone has bought it all up all around. And I'm just like, no, this is my meal. This is my go-to meal. Butter chicken. <gasps> Butter chicken, garlic naan. That is what it's gonna be for dinner today. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna heat that up um, while I shower and get dressed back in comfy clothes and I'm going to eat and then have a full night of studying. <sighs> we can do this. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. All right, we're showered, we're fresh, we're clean. Dinner has been made. Mm. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited to eat. And we've got a little something on the tele. I'm gonna try this new show out and we'll see how it goes. It looks promising, so we'll see. Um, and then we're gonna get to work. So let's eat and chillax for a bit because we earned it, we deserve it. All right, let's do this work. It's time to watch some lectures. The first lecture I am going to watch is overview of the GI tract from last week. So we're just gonna zoom through. I'm gonna try and get as many done as possible so that I can be caught back up. 
this is what we got over here on the screen we've got the lecture there and then we've got my split screen with Anki on this side and the slides over here so that's the plan so, I think this is from last year Ooh. all right let's learn And I feel like I still didn't get enough done. You know, like there's just always more to do. Do I go to sleep now or do I wrap, wrap a little bit more out? I'm like really considering just going to sleep. I mean, there comes a time with everything that like you gotta stop. You gotta take a break. You gotta put your health first. Um, so I'm just like, is that this time or do I have more in me? Cause only you know the answer to that. Are you being lazy? or do you actually need rest? So I'm trying to dig deep and really be honest with myself. Do I need to go to sleep or am I just over it? <laughs> am I just not feeling like it? Cause that's not reason enough to not keep going, okay? That is not reason enough to not work towards your dreams if you just don't feel like it. Successful people do what they need to do whether they feel like it or not. That used to be my motto in high school. I'm bringing that back. <sighs> I think I just don't feel like it. That means I can keep going. All right, <sighs> let's knock out one more lecture. Let's get it done. We're gonna knock out overview of GI exocrine and storage organs. We've already done GI physiology and overview of GI tract. Um, let's knock it out. So let me pull up this last lecture. <sighs> We're gonna get it done and I hope you watching me get it done inspires you to go get it done, okay? You just watched my whole thought process right here. I wanna go to sleep, but I'm not going to because I know that I can give more. I know I have more to give, so I'm not cheating myself right now. All right, let's get to work. Let's just knock it out and then we can go to sleep. Let's go. On, 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 rain, rainy day. Dang near 1 a.m. y'all, that took me forever. You see these bags? Mm. I'd say that was a pretty successful Monday. Like, not too shabby. Oh, that closet is open, it just looks so messy. Don't look at my home. All right, we get to fill it out on the pass tracker. We did it, we, we did it. So, it's time for me to go to sleep. Tomorrow is actually a pretty chill day. I just have two lectures. They have canceled our clinical experiences, which I'm so sad about due to COVID, so I will not be going into clinic tomorrow like I should be. I'm actually really disappointed. So tomorrow I just have two lectures in the morning and then the full day to study. And you bet your bottom dollar I am going to be studying all day tomorrow. I'm digging the GI tract, I think it's pretty cool. And I'm excited to see what we continue to learn. So we can do this, we're, we're gonna be great. Hello everyone! I literally just woke up, so please do not judge this entire appearance. But you know I keep it real around here. I don't even care. So I just woke up like two hours ago. It's now like 1 p.m. I woke up around 11, slept in because I was up late last night studying. And now I don't have anything to do today because my clinical experience got canceled, which I'm so sad about. If you've watched any of my previous vlogs where I've gone to clinic, I am assigned to the palliative care clinic, which I love so much. And it's been such a pleasure to be able to not only like shadow there, but like do patient interviews and stuff. Like, so I'm sad that I can't do that um, because of COVID it's canceled for this month. So hopefully next month, since that's canceled, it's a free day which is great, free day equals study day. So I am going to knock out a quick workout and then sit down for the rest of the day and get this study on. All right, 
right, the workout is done quick. Felt good to get moving. So now it's time to sit though for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna shower, get all of this back together, feeling clean, feeling fresh, and study all day. So let's go. All right, we're showered. I have eaten dinner and watched little grays. And now I'm sitting at my desk ready to work. So I've got a lot of lectures that I need to watch. So that's gonna be the first thing that we knock out. Um, what is this lecture I am gonna watch first? It's called digestion and absorption. I guess learning about digestion and absorption within the intestines. So that is what is up first. We're just gonna knock out some lectures and then hopefully later tonight I will go through some Anki cards and do my Anki. So <sighs> it's gonna be a long night, but I'm looking forward to it. so far and this is so interesting i love the gi tractor at least like what i'm learning of it it is so freaking cool oh my gosh like like look at this this is a colon with um diverticulosis let me just say it's not supposed to have holes in it and this is what it looks like like what how is that not one of the coolest things you've ever seen so I'm having a blast over here. I'm not even gonna lie, this is so cool. Um, and I've learned a lot of cool things that I had no idea about. So we're forging on. I have three more lectures from last week I need to watch. I think I could actually get that done today. If not, then just at least one more. Learning is fun. I do wanna do some Anki cards though. I have a lot of Anki cards to do, but I'm excited. I'm excited to master this material, so. Let's get back to work. Our next lecture is integrated GI function and GI symptoms. Sounds pretty cool to me. All right, we're still going strong. I got some blue light blocking glasses for Christmas. New shades, who this? Oh, these are just hopefully to protect my eyes and make sure I can go to sleep when I'm done studying since this blue light exposure is just a lot. So the glasses are going on, it's about 10.30 p.m. And we're still going strong, but we're being smart, protecting our eyes and making sure we get that sleep. So, let's keep working. Ah. All right, so I have about oh, 35 minutes of lectures left and then I'll be done with all of last week's lectures. So today was an awesomely productive day and I still have a little bit more juice in me. I do have histopathology lab tomorrow. It is all online for this block, which sucks, but it is what it is. So that is what I'm going to take a break and do now. And then hopefully I still have the energy left in me to do those last 35 minutes of the farm lecture. It's been taking me forever to go through farm because it's a lot, let me, the glare was really annoying me. It's actually not that difficult. I think because I'm taking the time to go through it, I'm not rushing. Um, I only put it on two times speed if, you know, there's something that I can skip and I don't really need to be paying attention during that part. So things are going pretty well and I'm feeling pretty good. It's only 12.45 in the morning, we got time. I got a nine out of 10. I misread a question, but you know what? It's late and it doesn't count, so I will take it. Um, so now do I finish this last bit of this lecture? I really want to wake up tomorrow, but, but at this rate, I ain't gonna wake up till 11. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and finish it. I'm gonna try and finish it and then wake up maybe like 10 30. Make it carry on. I think um let me just highlight what it is. I think we've had just that, said he's um, gonna end early. Uh, I'll take more five more minutes to summarize some of the points. <gasps> Alright, I am done. 
God was looking out for me today. This dude ended early. He was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to get through all this, so I'm not even gonna try. And I was like, I like your energy, sir. I like that. I'm gonna head to sleep and I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all, and happy Wednesday. So it is about 11.45 a.m. right now. I woke up at 11. Slept in a little later than I had thought, but I'm feeling good and feeling refreshed. So I have about an hour and 15 minutes before my 1 p.m. class, which is histopathology. And so I'm gonna use this time to knock out some Anki cards. I have not done any Anki cards from last week, so I wanna make sure I'm like caught up on that. Yeah, we've got like 300 Anki cards to get through today, but I'm looking forward to learning this information. So I'm excited, let's get it done. Um, I've switched my Anki settings, which I think has been a game changer. This is what I did back when I was learning the kidney, if you remember that. I switched my Anki cards to show me the new cards in the order that I added them. And before I had it set to a random order, I guess I was really just like, I thought it would, I don't know what I thought, maybe that it would challenge me more, but the first time that I'm seeing the cards, it helps so much to see them in order because usually like the cards are grouped in the context that I made them in, you know what I mean? Gonna go through all of them sequentially and knock it out. Let's do it, let's learn. pathology lab I've got about three minutes left on my forest timer I was able to get through 475 cards just now in the last 53.75 minutes um, so I'm feeling pretty good I've got three hours of histopath it's gonna end at four hopefully it ends earlier I hope it does and I'll be right back into it so feeling good I miss going into lab this is normally a class we would have in person but what can you do Okay, so Histopath just ended. Um, it's 3.50 p.m. We ended 10 minutes early. Yay, lucky me. So, it was good, it was fine. So what I am now going to do is, I have a live class that I am teaching at 5 p.m. So I've got about an hour and 10 minutes before that starts. It usually takes me a good bit of time to get ready for these classes, so I'm just gonna make sure everything is together and then maybe I'll squeeze in a few Anki cards, but if we're being honest, I'm probably just gonna resume doing Anki after dinner. So that's gonna be the plan for today. I am excited to get up and get moving and get sweating. <sighs> today is gonna be upper body and abs. I will uh, check in with y'all once I'm all dressed up for this class. All right, dressed, ready to go. Wearing Gymshark outfit is linked in the description as always. And it's time to get this live class going. Mm, mm, here's my setup. For those of you who join live classes, this is the other side. Computer, all the equipment, some games at the bottom of my ottoman. And this is where we work out. So I'll see y'all when it's done and when I'm all sweaty and have gotten up and gotten going. All right, y'all, the workout is done. I am deceased. Deceased. Oh, and now I'm tired. So I'm going to shower, get cleaned up, and then eat some dinner. You already know, I don't even gotta, I ain't gotta tease y'all. I'm gonna eat butter chicken with garlic naan. Do I eat anything else? So shower, eat dinner, and then get back to doing my Anki cards. I wanna finish the rest of my Anki cards. I have about 200 more to go. I can do it. And then watch some more lectures. So rapid fire, we're going. All right, y'all, we are showered, we are clean and the butter chicken and garlic naan is made. I just want you to look at what I did. You see this? This is a child's plate from Target that I bought just so I could put this meal on a plate like this. I'm literally six years old, but I'm going to take a break and watch Bridgerton, which is what everyone seems to be talking about nowadays. I have yet to watch it. So I'm gonna start that, watch an episode while I eat this food, and then we will get back to studying. Oh my goodness. All 
All right, so I am going to stop doing Aki cards now. I've been doing Aki cards for two and a half hours and I've done 748 cards today. And my brain is kind of Aki'd out. Um, and I also have some other things I need to do. Still have some juice in me. I think I'm gonna put on my blue light blocking glasses right about now. My eyes are starting to hurt from looking at the screen for so long. So I just realized that I have to do two anatomy quizzes before anatomy. We normally don't have quizzes for anatomy, but we do this week, I guess. I've never had an anatomy quiz. So I need to do those two quizzes before 8 a.m. tomorrow because my anatomy lab is tomorrow, which I get to go to campus for, yay! So I'm really excited about that and to put on scrubs and to feel like a med student again. This whole sitting at the computer doing Zoom University is quite weird. Do that a little bit. I really wanted to watch lectures tonight, but I didn't realize I had this quiz. So hopefully it doesn't take too long and I can still watch some lectures from this week since now I'm all caught up to this week. So we'll see, let's keep working. Okay, so I just finished the first of the quizzes. I took the longer 26 question quiz before the 10 question quiz. It wasn't that bad. It was just um, my short answer. They just meant you're typing in the answer rather than it being multiple choice. So we're just identifying things. I don't know if I'm gonna watch lectures tonight. I kind of want to go to sleep early. Wake up a little bit earlier. I've been waking up at like 11.30 this week. I kind of want to wake up a little bit earlier. Maybe watch some lectures in the morning. We will see, um, but let me knock out this second quiz. Bam. So I think I am in a call of the night. Um, I deserve to be in bed before 3 a.m. So I'm gonna head to sleep and hopefully I will wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow and get some work done in the morning. I'm so tired, my brain is dead. All right, good night. Good morning, y'all, and happy Thursday. It is about 11.25 in the morning. I've actually been up since 9.30, but didn't have a chance to pick up the camera because my phone broke overnight. I was on support chat with Apple, which was kind of annoying because I really wanted to do some lectures this morning. So I've got about another hour before I need to leave for class. And while my phone figures itself out, I'm going to try and watch these lectures on the liver. And pal. Boo.zoo. So I'm just gonna keep doing that until I have to leave for anatomy lab. We're finally going to campus. It's gonna be nice. Let's get back to watching lectures. <laughs> Right, y'all so I just got home from anatomy lab I'm literally on the roof of my building just getting a little Sun soaking in that Los Angeles weather I am feeling so good like anatomy lab was awesome it was so cool I am in love with the GI tract I find it so interesting it actually makes sense being able to see all of the structures like laid out in the cadaver one thing goes to the next thing like it's very clear Oh my gosh, it was so much fun just exploring the abdomen. The intestines are so long. These are the moments that make all of the Anki cards worth it. Being able to visualize and actually touch and see and feel the structures that we're learning about in lecture, like on a human. It doesn't get much better than that, you know what I mean? I am feeling so motivated to get back to my desk and study. And like study all night, like this just refueled my energy stores and just reminded me why I'm doing this. Like, yes, I love this stuff. Oh, I have PBL tomorrow. I totally forgot about PBL. That means I can't stay up late tonight because I got an 8 a.m. with PBL, but <laughs> an 8 a.m. date with PBL. Let's continue to get this work. Let's continue to get this knowledge so we can be the best doctors we can be. All right, I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, bye. All right, time to get back to work. Oh my God, I look so crazy. You know what? It's because I'm studying. I have 223 cards due and 148 new cards. I'm probably not gonna get through all of this. I'm gonna try, so let's knock it out. Knock it out. Mm, 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 mm. I gotta go to sleep by 12 because I gotta get up at eight for PBL, so. 
Let's get it done, team. Let's get it done. Good afternoon and happy Friday. So, I've actually, I woke up around 7.50 for PBL at 8 a.m. Um, and I just didn't film because I was kind of running late because if you wake up at 7.50 for an 8 a.m. class, then you know the rest of the story. Let's get this working. Let's get this bread. Let's go. Studying has come to an end. It is past midnight, so I think I am going to call it a night. Um, but I'm feeling good about the work that I did today. I did a lot of work, so mm, I'm going to head to sleep and I will see you next time for another vlog. I hope you enjoyed this week in medical school. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.